this week's episode, we're back in my hometown, past Christian, Mississippi. And we're going to a place that's special to me. It's a place I spent a lot of time at as a kid, Kite Island. It's one of the barrier islands about seven miles off of the beach. We've had a lot of fun there. Hopefully that'll continue today. We use our big trawl boat, our bigger trawl boat, to go out and catch the live bait every night or every day, depending on when it's best caught. He comes in once a day, preferably in the morning before daylight, and offloads his catch from the, from the trawl boat onto this boat that I'm selling off of and replenish, replenishes the tanks every single morning. Our two main baits here for the guys that fish buckle trout and redfish are live shrimp and live croaker. We were uh, born on the coast here in Long Beach. Uh, I've had boats in the past, Christian Harbor here on my own since 96. My dad had boats here since the early 70s. There he is. Hold a second. Oh, hooked up. That ain't a trout. If it's a trout, it's a bigger one than we want. No, they don't make them, Joey. Oh, that's a shark. Shark. There he is. There we go. Fish on, Joey. With the net. I don't know. Let's we'll see what he is. What's your line there? Yeah, that's pretty trout. You ready to come over me? Yeah, grab that net for me. Fishing Cat Island with live croakers. Probably got about a 15 knot wind. Good and warm sunny day. Trying to catch fish on live croakers up for the grass beds. Hold him, little hook. Hold him. There we go. The elusive right. speckle trout. That's it. Took a little while to get him going this morning, but that ain't a bad start there, is it? Folks, today we're out here at Cat Island, fishing out of past Christian, Mississippi. We got my Buddy Joey Gierga is our guide today. Joey does a lot of live bait fishing. We're using live croakers. And that's what you get with live croakers out here. Got him. Not much to him, but he's a fish. What you got, Joey? Oh, a little small speckle trout. But the big boys got to be with them. You know, a few years ago, that would have been a keeper. Yeah, 13 inches two years ago. Mississippi went 15 inches to try to rebound the stock on these fish. Have you seen an increase in size? Some people say they're seeing bigger fish now. Some people are saying not. Yeah, and you come out here and catch 20 or 30, 14 and 3 quarters, 14 and 7 eighths, and then got to throw them back. Got him that time. If I can catch up to him. There he is. Little guy. But he's a trout. And here we are. They love eating them croakers. We're gonna let him go. Y'all stick around, we'll be right back. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino, Dad Super Pawn, Standard Mapping, Abu Garcia, Berkeley and Penn, Seato, Southern Building Supply, Ocean Marine Group, Biloxi and Mobile Boat Show, Oddball Tackle, Catcher's Mitt, Parker Poles, Red Tail Republic, Gorilla Wraps, and Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, and I would like to invite you to come on down and experience everything that the Silver Slipper has to offer. Now, whether you're looking for 24-7 Vegas-style action or a great meal in any one of our award-winning restaurants, you need to be sure to take time to relax 
and enjoy our new beachside pool and pool bar while you're here. You know, we are proud to be your host on the coast, and we'll save you a seat up on the pool deck. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. When you trade with us, you always get a best. Super deals are why. Whether you sell or buy. We cash checks, we pay bills. We make loans like no one will. And help you keep your pockets filled. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. Building a new home? Build it with brick and roofing from Southern Building Supply. Come see our showroom on County Farm Road in Gulfport. We have a wide range of brick in the most popular styles and colors, and our selection of high-quality shingles can add years to the life of your new roof. Southern Building Supply offers on-site delivery of your new brick and rooftop delivery of your new shingles. We're the only locally-owned roofing and brick company. Call us today, 228-539-8380. Southern Building Supply. Back over Chuck, one more cast or two. And go back to that point one more time. They got to show up on that point. That's the 90% of the fish we catch down there. So while we're fishing these croakers, we're using a larger croaker trying to catch larger trout. We're fishing grass beds and really concentrating on the potholes. Fishing a live croaker with a Carolina rig. We're drifting right to Chuck here. We're just above it. I got Chuck, I got Matt, I got Kenny, I got Riley, I got Paul on there. They got granny. So a Carolina rig is a, we're using about putting a swivel and then a slide sinker on top of that. Throwing it in the grass beds and working it back through to the potholes. If you're gonna catch a fish, your croakers are gonna do it. When it hits one of those potholes, that's when you usually get your bite. There he is. Got him! Oh, she's jumping, Joey, she's jumping. There you got what? I love tricking them with artificial. This is a lot of fun, too. Come here. Look at that, right in the lap. Shut that Captain Joey trying to take me out. Hey, Joe, this is a lot of fun, man. You ought to get in on it. Well, you get excited. <laughs> we'll see you later. Oh, we're getting nervous. So one of the things whenever you're doing this croaker fishing, you keep direct contact with the line. You'll feel that bait start bouncing around. He gets nervous whenever something gets around him. You feel him start bouncing. Where most people lose or miss their fish is they set the hook too early. I've done it a couple times today myself. He's got it. Nope. Swing and a miss. But you'll feel him bouncing, and then you're gonna feel one solid thud. Whenever you do that, you'll notice whenever we're fishing, we'll turn and point a rod at him. We'll give him a bunch of slack. You're gonna watch that line. And whenever he's taking that line out, that slack out, that's whenever you want to set the hook. You got to give these fish plenty of time to get that bait down in their mouth so the hook ends up in there. There he is, there he is. Got him. Yeah, look at him out there. He's, he's cutting up. Oh, yeah. I can still see my croaker hanging out of his mouth, Joey. The record's three on a croaker. <laughs> on you can't hardly kill a cockahoe. Well, I tell you what, it doesn't get much more fun than this anticipation after they hit it. And this is one of the prettiest places in Mississippi to fish, right here. Out right in the corner of the mouth. That's where it should be each time. Nice size little trout. We're gonna let him go. See you later, buddy. Got him.
Here he comes, Joey. I got him. I'll swing him in. Man, biggest Kruger in the box caught the smallest trout of the day. It just goes to show you these fish, they'll eat a big bait. Even the smaller ones will. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Folks, what we're using today, we got a chatter weight, makes a little noise. We got 20 pound fluorocarbon, and we got a kale hook. Whenever you go to the store, you find either kale hook or they'll, sometimes they call them croaker hooks. Three, four, five alt size, depending on the size of your croaker. There we go, Joey's hooked up. A little better one, Jojo. Quick release. You still got your bait there, too. Don't yeah. let him get away. Got to put him on camera. All right, we're going to get back after it. Y'all stick around. I'm Shaw Grigsby, and this is my office a sensational light tackle series saltwater boat from Triton. Whether you're sneaking up on monster reds in skinny water, fishing a tournament in a coastal bay or river, or headed for light offshore action for the trophy of your dreams, no other boat fishes, performs, and fuels your angling passion like a genuine Triton LTS. See them today at a nearby Triton dealer and at tritonboats.com. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, and I would like to invite you to come on down and experience everything that the Silver Slipper has to offer. Now, whether you're looking for 24-7 Vegas-style action or a great meal in any one of our award-winning restaurants, you need to be sure to take time to relax and enjoy our new beachside pool and pool bar while you're here. You know, we are proud to be your host on the coast, and we'll save you a seat up on the pool deck. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Hey everybody. One of the big questions we get is about tackle management. We've got a lot of stuff to use on this boat and keeping it all organized can be a bit troubling for some people. With my terminal tackle, we're gonna show you what I do here today. I use a Plano Guide Series 3500 bag. It's got a inside compartment where I'm able to keep three 3500 trays. This is the standard tray that it comes with. It is not waterproof, so in this one, I keep all my weights and swivels and things like that that I'm not worried about rusting. Now, I replace the other ones that it comes with, and I use 3500 waterproof stowaway boxes. What this is gonna do is it's gonna keep all your hooks nice and dry. No water in there, they're not gonna rust on you. They'll be ready to go next time you use them. The worst thing is to put your tackle up, month later hit the water and all your hooks are rusted. Now the last thing that I really like about this box is a feature, it's got a lashing system on the top of it. That allows me to keep one box on top. In this box, I keep an assortment of things that I may need all the time. I've got treble hooks, I've got kale hooks, I've got some extra weights, I keep a few swivels in there. That way, whenever this is in my tackle storage area in the boat and I need something quick, I can just reach in and grab this box off the top without having to go all the way into the bag, but I got plenty of backups inside of there. And one other thing, don't forget, if you run out of hooks on the inside, make a mental note, go get them, that way you'll have them next time. 
Look, we like to hear from you too. Hit us up on Facebook. If you've got some better ideas or you've got some tips and tactics that you think people might want to see, we'd love to hear about them. We'll see you all around. We've been very well received by all the anglers. Uh, we couldn't have asked for a more warmer welcome from these guys at all. I've been a commercial fisherman, uh, working summers with my dad since I was a child. Uh, I went full time around 1996 and uh, owned as many as six commercial boats. My dad had boats in this very harbor since the early 1970s. Uh, so I've been, I've been around this harbor since I was a child. I couldn't think of any place that I would rather live than the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, there's just a variety of, of fish to eat, uh, just a buffet of everything that comes out of here, anything that anyone could want. Uh, it, it's just a beautiful place to live. No, it ain't. That is an inshore yellowfin. Oh, that, was that a... This is the most underrated game fish in the Mississippi Sound right here. Let me come under you. It's like a diesel. Once they start running, you can't stop them. Oh, he's just getting going, too. You just realize he's hooked. Yeah. I'm a charter boat captain. We've got our own spots we fish. We also fish spots that other people like to fish. Now, for instance, if I'm on a charter and I catch fish in a certain spot and I've got somebody in the boat that I remember their name, I'll go ahead and name that spot after them. That way, when I recall my spot, I know where it was I was fishing and who I was fishing with. And I can right, kind of keep on. track of my spots like that. We all share intel. I mean, if Chuck finds fish, he tells me about it. If I go to the spot he told me about, I name that spot Chuck, so I remember it was his spot. Guys, I don't all the way through well, no, they realize, fishing. When they realized they did wrong, we shut them down, and now it took them 15 minutes of island to get back to where get back over a plane instead of being respectful and going around everybody that could be where uh -oh, he was fishing uh -oh, by now. Uh -oh. out, of, out of line? Yeah. But then also, I wasn't paying attention. You got to give each other a little bit of room, too. If they're on that spot, you go ahead and go to another get spot. Get the troll motor in. Get you a little bit back. Now, we fish together. We don't fish against each other, so. If somebody's fishing out there, give them a little room. Keep go up there with them, fish beside them, catch fish with them. Just don't mess them up. Show a little respect. Better hang left. You're getting them over there. Yeah. You can get off anchor mode. There he went. If you look out here, folks, you can see a grass line. We're fishing both sides of the grass line. Fish seem to hold up right there. You pull it out of the grass, they'll smoke it. Got him. Little guy. This here is a future generation of fishing. Still. Ooh. He don't like the way that hook tastes, Joey. No, sir. We're going to let him loose. So, Joey, tell us a little bit about hooking these croakers. Why, why are you hooking them through the tail instead of in the mouth or the nose or the back? Well, I will hook them in the mouth sometimes, but the tail just seems to do better. They swim a little better. You know, when I get some clients on the boat, sometimes they want to drag them in because they feel the waves of croaker, so I will hook them through the eyes just so I don't keep casting so much, but the tail seems to be better. It's a real fair long reach. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get this. Not a trout, though. No, it's not a trout. It's a big shark. It ain't gonna last long. He's coming straight at us. Look out, Joey, look out. Look at him. Look at him. I'm gonna let you have him, <laughs> Oh, there he goes. All right, we don't wanna run our trout off. I had fun with this, but we're fixing to end it. Right here. Well, well, I need him to turn the other way before I can stop it.
There we go. Got it out. Woo! That was exciting. I just got a new sound system installed. Mm -hmm. Prepare to be blown away. You guys going to work today? Empress Audio, installing car audio since 1975. At Seato, you don't just get help, you get a fleet of help. More boats and more experienced captains mean Seato members receive help faster. Membership is inexpensive at only 49 cents per day. And that's for complete coverage, from fuel drops to jump starts to a timely tow home. It's 24-7 peace of mind on the water. Become a CETO member today for just $179 a year. And know the country's premier on-water assistance fleet is standing by. CETO. I just got a new sound system installed. Mm -hmm. Prepare to be blown away. You guys going to work today? Empress Audio, installing car audio since 1975. Hey everybody, Chef Corey Hudson here again with Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today I'm preparing speckled trout with shrimp velouté sauce. The ingredients that you need for this dish are one speckled trout filet, half a stick of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, six large shrimp, one cup of shrimp stock, one tablespoon of finely chopped green onions, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a pinch of cayenne pepper, and juice from one lemon. Now to start this dish, we will need to get a large saute pan with a drizzle of olive oil nice and hot. Season the trout with salt and pepper and be sure to lay the fish away from you, flesh side down. Let it cook for about four minutes and then flip it and cook for an additional three minutes. It may take longer depending on the size or the thickness of the filet. Now we can make our sauce. Velouté is one of the five mother sauces you can make so many other baby sauces from those five mother sauces. So get another saute pan, melt the butter, and once it's melted, you can add the flour. Stir this, just keep stirring it until it's nice and velvety, but you don't want to go too long because it calls for a blonde roux. It's light in color. Next, pour in the shrimp stock, throw in the rest of your ingredients, and cook until the shrimp are a light pink color. And there you have it, pan-seared speckled trout with shrimp velouté. One thing, if you'll watch fishing with these chatter weights, that weight plays a big key because it's got the rattles in it. It's all in your wrist. You want to just bounce it two or three times. Let it sit there. If you hadn't had a bite in a few minutes, all in the wrist, bump, bump, bump. What that does, it makes that little vibration underneath the water. Vibration is gonna attract these speckled trout. It'll get them in close enough to figure out where that bait is. It's gonna be game on. Well, I, like, I like these trout weights weight too because you could pull it through the grass and your fish seem, seem to hit when you get them to an open pocket of sand. So it lets you get through the grass and through the sand in the opening, and that's when your fish tend to hit it. Well, Captain Joey was just talking about the, the pockets of sand on the north side and the south side, which is where we're fishing now of Cat Island here. And most all of the barrier islands, they're grass flats. There's big grass beds all out through here that are gonna hold bait, and you, you have potholes. You got holes in that grass, on that sand. Whenever that bait comes out of that grass, over that sand, and it gets into that clearing, a lot of times that's where you get your strikes. You know, Joey, it started out slow this morning. We were talking about running here, running there, going different places, but some days you just gotta stick with it, don't you? Yes, sir. Fish on, looks like. Yep, there he is. That's a good example. You move 30 yards, you gotta bite. That's right. Fish are there somewhere, they're gonna bite, you just gotta find the fish. They got tails, they're gonna move. Don't give up, just keep moving with them. And that's the result. Straight out of Captain Joey's mouth. And into the trout's mouth. A lot to do with fishing is confidence. Confidence in the spot you want to fish. Like for instance today, we fished three different spots two different times. Pretty little healthy fish. Great coloration living over these grass beds. You get that pretty dark color to them. 
right in there. That's why they call them yellow mouths. The bigger they get, the darker that coloration gets inside their mouth. We're gonna send him on his way. Got him. If you got confidence in a spot, stick with it. Sooner or later, it's gonna pay off. I think I'm under you. My mind just got nervous. Can we double up here? You might not catch them but 10 minutes, and then they're gone 30 more yards. You just gotta keep with them. Fine with that. Hold on to the hook, because I really got to <laughs> There he is. Oh, yeah, doubled up. Just a little bigger, just a little bigger. My jumping out there, he's mad. He don't like the way that one tastes. Hold this one until you get yours in. Woo, boy. A little nicer fish here, Randy. Come on. Yeah, this one's a little bigger than my last one. I like it. I like it, Joey. Flying fish, they're That's flying everywhere. Jumping in the boat. Let's face it, some days on the water, you're not gonna load the boat down. However, if you would just enjoy the ride, sometimes it's not about putting fish in the boat, but the experience. Come on up here, Joey. Well, we squeezed one out today. Had a great time, enjoyed fishing with Captain Ronnie. Tell you what. <laughs> It don't get much more fun than that right there. It's been a beautiful morning out here, a little bit windy. That's the great thing about these barrier islands. You can get behind them, find a place to hide. Joey, thank you so much for Enjoy bringing us right. out here Enjoy today. It. He put us right on them, folks. If y'all want to catch them in South Mississippi, call Pogie's Boat Charters, Captain Joey Garriga. He'll show you how it's done. Let's put this boy back. Yep. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino. Dad Super Pawn, Standard Mapping, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, and Penn, Seato, Southern Building Supply, Ocean Marine Group, Biloxi and Mobile Boat Show, Oddball Tackle, Catcher's Mitt, Parker Pole. Red Tail Republic, Gorilla Wraps, and Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine.